country's asleep, but life begins again at one o'clock, Ack Emma, with a dance to the music of Arthur Rosebery and his orchestra at the famous Paradise Club. So let it go. The Paradise Adorables in going to town. Maybe that's one of the reasons for our staying in town. And now, Leslie Roberts and Ida Peel disport a clever toe and heel. And talking of cards, who was? We weren't, for one. A popular guest artist and very quaint card, Sutherland Fels. But I would like to show you a little trick because I watched a fellow come on the stage the other night and he pulled out of his pocket some cards, so I thought this is going to be awful. At least he'll ask you to choose the card, remember what it is, put it back in the pack. But he didn't do that. He said, I he said, have got in my hand. He said, one, two, three, four, five, six cards, which he took in his hand like that, and he sort of threw away to the audience. One, two, three cards like that, leaving in his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. So I thought, that's a very good trick. I went around to the shop and I said, this fellow behind the counter that sells these magic tricks, have you got the trick that I saw the fellow do last <laughs> night where he's got in his hand one, two, three, four, five, six cards, which he takes in his hand like that, and he sort of throws away to the audience. One, two, three cards like that, leaving in his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. You see, so the fellow behind the counter, he says, oh, I've got the trick here. He says, I'll show it to you. He says, you mean the trick where the conjurer's got in his hand? One, two, three, four. Four, five, six cards, which he takes in his hand like that, and he sort of throws away to the audience. One, two, three <laughs> cards like that, leaving in his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. So I bought the trick and I'm going to show it to you. Because <laughs> I've read the words and everything on the instructions, and it says there for two and nine pence the fellow takes the cards in his hand, and he's actually really got in his hand, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six cards, which he takes in his hand like that, and he sort of throws away to the audience. One, two, three cards like that, leaving in his hand. One, two, three, four, five. And I still don't know how it's done. That brilliant impersonator, Clifford Stanton. And I should like to inquire, are you nervous, dyspeptic, rundown, heading for a nervous breakdown? Here is Edward Everett Horton to tell you what to do. <laughs> oh. oh, my word. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, oh, I'm all unstrung. Here I am advertising a nerve tonic and feeling as nervous as a kitten. Oh, my word, I'd not have said that, no. <laughs> Do you wake up in the morning slightly pickled? <laughs> oh, no, no, I mean in a slight pickle, yes. You do? Then you need a tonic. Oh, yes, indeed you do. Take Prosperine and Prosper, yes. I have with me here a letter of recommendation from an actor. Now, where did I put that letter? Oh, in my lower pocket. <laughs> it reads, Dear Mr. Houghton, are you a man or a mouse? Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Once I was a mouse. After taking one bottle of your nerve tonic, I am now playing the lead in that famous melodrama, The Rat. <laughs> yes. I recommend it strongly for the weak and weakly for the strong. Buy a bottle today and insist that the name is on every bottle. A name you simply cannot forget. The name is... Oh. Oh, my word, I've forgotten the name. <laughs> And again, the lovelies. And so it goes on until the dawn says good morning to Paradise Scandals of 1939. 